It's a brand new CJFL U22 season. The 2023 edition of Quinney Skyhawks football is here, and we're so glad to bring it along to you here on Your TV Quinty. Brock Ormond, Mark McFall with you on behalf of our volunteer crew at Your TV Quinty. And Mark, another exciting uh, CJFL season just up ahead, just about ready for kickoff. Uh, it, it almost feels like for football fans, uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, right, doesn't uh, it? Absolutely. You always, as a coach and as a player, you're excited for this first day because you, you know that you've got the whole season ahead of you. Everything you've worked for in the off season and in camp is ready to go right now. So uh, the nerves are up. You're excited to go. But uh, here we are as uh, Quinny's getting ready to kick off the ball. Tegan Good, number 11, kicks off for the Skyhawks. We'll get more into uh, some of the new and returning players as we go along here. But we're underway on this Sunday afternoon, a beautiful day for football. Not too uh, not too hot, not too cool. Okay, a little bit defensive of lineman's back as well. Uh, big loss, though, Carter Stevens, a quarterback who is aged out as the ball bounces there. One hop and grabbed. There they go. Nice little hop there. Beautiful play. That was number 13, Nick Sagetti. Another returnee. Here comes Sagetti down the right sideline. He's going to get a break away. Splits off one tackle. Tries to split off a second, but he's taken down. Two big attempts by the Grizzlies defenders. The second one works, but Nick Sagetti with a big gain to put the Skyhawks back into just about red zone positioning. Yeah, that's just Great blocking on uh, the special teams there, being able to set that wall up so he could get to the outside. Um, great athletic, like you said, jumping over that one player, and then he was just using his speed. And uh, they were able to just get that shoe string tackle on him, but they're inside the 10 again and uh, looking to build on this early lead. That's right, and uh, practice and games are a completely different story, Absolutely. as you know, especially uh, after a couple week training camp to try and get things going. As Bowman with a throw, that's a sidearm throw, nice pass and a touchdown for the Skyhawks. Make it nine, nothing for Quinney and a great grab by Otis Newbury, one of the newcomers for the Skyhawks on the receiving corps. Yeah, and uh, he's from the UK. And so, yeah, there you go. United Kingdom is sending over football players. And the Skyhawks are glad to have him as that early snag right in the back of the end zone give uh, them another six point and a nine point lead here as they get ready to go for the extra nine. Point. So why not uh, give them an opportunity to try and see if they can push through. Bocomp's gonna step back and launch one high in the air towards the end zone, nice grab. Touchdown. And that's gonna be a touchdown for the Grizzlies. So the gamble pays off. Brandon Bocomp with a touchdown pass. Yeah, that was just a, um, a great throw by, by the quarterback, and uh, it was just misplayed by that corner um, as Aaron Dodds went over. And uh, he must have, I'm thinking, just by his reaction, he lost the ball in the air. Um, goal. Because, well, it's just short of the first and goal, so they could get another. So they're out to Zagetti. That's Otis Newbury with the oh, grab. Oh, it's Newbury, Mike. Who he just got rung around there by the Grizzlies defense. and Still picking up four or five yards there, so that's still good. Yeah, so Newbury seems like he's one of Bowman's favorite targets as we get a look. Maybe we get a look here at this replay. There's the, the snap coming, and Bowman with a nice throw to the left, and he got rid of it pretty quickly to try and force the Grizzlies to act quick as there's a run by Newbury trying to bust touchdown. his way in he's got a touchdown Otis Newbury two on the game in as many quarters and for the Skyhawks they have spread their lead back out a little bit it is now 15 to 6 prior to the uh, extra point yeah I, yeah again uh, just a, a great they found a little niche here where they just throw in these quick passes to the flats and uh, just letting the receiver do their job and just uh, make the play after that, which has uh, been working well. Newberry's been uh, able to handle that task. So under five to go in the second quarter and first half. Skyhawks still up by 10. Yep, good field position here. Drops back. Come on, keep going, Josh. Nice spiral on a catch for the Skyhawks. Touchdown, number 83. That's Josh Joshua Beal. Beal. And Patrick Anderson with the throw. That is going to be another TD, the third of the game for the Skyhawks. And it comes right on the first play of that last sequence. The fans are loving it here at Loyalist College Field. Again, Josh Beal, great kid, uh, fullback for the team, playing out there at receiver. So he's like, let me have the ball. And uh, away he goes, and you're not going to stop him. High energy guy, great guy, and uh, he helped coach 
U14 this year. He brought that energy and that experience. He's another player that's come up through the system, and I love seeing him succeed and doing well at this level now. Yeah, and giving back, too. That's a big thing. Talking to a former Skyhawk, Brock Lever, earlier this summer. At Grizzlies and Dulles as well, number 41. So a good end to the half for the Skyhawks. And Mark, uh, before we head to break quickly uh, with a score 29-6, what did you like and what are some things that you may want to see improve from the Skyhawks in the second half? Well, one of the things that I've liked is their running game. And, and we've mentioned it, the, the offensive line is doing well. It's making up uh, great holes for Zagetti and, and the other running backs here. And so uh, I, continue, I expect them to continue to do that in the second half. And then in the, also for the defense, they just got to keep doing what they're doing but play a little more smart. They got to they avoid those long penalties uh, that they got nailed with two or three times in the first half. But uh, overall, they're doing well. And uh, GTA, they're going to have to come out in the second half with, a, you know, they're going to have to make some major adjustments to be able to, to go against this in the second half. But it's looking Ayers. Bowman set up. He's going to hand off Forsyth again, busting it through. Forsyth is in there. That's going to be a touchdown. touchdown. Ryan Forsyth with his first score of the season, and he was the guy that Bowman trusted on those last two run plays to take the ball and really make good use of, of where that ball was going to go. He puts it yeah. in. Great draw play. He just drops, you know, they just uh, steps back into the shotgun and just hands it off to him and lets him do the rest of the work. Great blocking again up front, and they were able to just uh, open up the door, and he ran through it. Forsyth spun off of two defenders there for the Grizzlies. Right in the mix. And there it is. There it is. Make it one win in the books for the Quinney Skyhawks. Their home and season opener was a mightily successful one, 50 to 12. They dominate the GTA Grizzlies here on your TV, Quinty. And uh, Mark, before we uh, say goodbye, uh, just uh, what did you think overall? What are your overall thoughts about that game? It had to have been uh, a great, as great of a performance as the Skyhawks could have had. Yeah, it. Uh, it I I'm feeling happy for Sean and the whole organization to be able to come out and to have such a dominant. Offense looked really good. The offensive line played well. The running game is uh, something that they're going to build on. And the defense played well. They got some things to clean up on special teams. and on. And uh, But other than that, overall, great game. And next week should be interesting also when they have to face this exact same team. Uh, this week should be an interesting practice week working on those little things. Yeah, and uh, the exacting some revenge will be on the mind of the Grizzlies Absolutely. for sure. The Skyhawks uh, want to keep that momentum going. They had a great first uh, first week, and now they'll uh, get another week off to practice and get some uh, systems and uh, tweet, get some uh, different plays uh, figured out as well. Because there was, like you said, there was still some uh, some plays that uh, needed to get worked out because yep. it wasn't a wasn't a perfect game for the Skyhawks, but still really good. Yep. Next home game is the Ottawa Sooners, Saturday, September 2nd. That one will be at 2 o'clock. Ottawa won 46-20 to last season against the Skyhawks here, so Quinney wants to try and get that first win against uh, a team that's really...